In this video, we're going to be scientifically testing and reviewing the two flagship light therapy lamps from Carex. The Daylight Classic, which you might recognize because it's on basically every best light therapy lamp list on the internet, and its newer cousin, the Daylight Sky. Since these lamps will run you anywhere from $110 to $150, which is on the higher end for a light therapy lamp, I wanted to review these so that you could decide for yourself which one is worth buying. Later in the video, we'll be going over some of the data I got from my lab grade spectrometer, from my flicker meter, slow motion video, and I even took magnetic field readings with an EMF meter just to double check those. But before we get into that, let's first just compare the build and feature set of each lamp. Both of these are quite large, but the Classic is a bit larger at both the base and the head. There are push buttons on both lamps that allow you to adjust the height up or down, as well as the angle of the lamp head. I found the Sky model quite a bit easier to adjust. The Classic has this vertical adjustment bar that gets stuck sometimes and it's just not as fluid as the Sky model. Each lamp has only two brightness settings, high and low, so using them is pretty simple. They both have a power cord that's 6.3 feet long, but the Sky technically has a longer reach because the power cord is on the bottom of the lamp instead of sort of near the top as is on the Classic. I actually ran into an issue where I couldn't plug the Classic into an outlet near my dining room table without using an extension cable. Whereas the Sky, I was able to use it in the same spot without one. Now, with all that out of the way, let's talk about the Lux output. Both of these lamps claim, like many others, to output 10,000 lux. But unlike most other lamps, these publicly disclose the distance at which this is achieved, which is 12 inches. So like all the other lamps we've tested, we put them one foot away from our spectrometer and took readings over the course of a one hour period to see what they put out. And the results were surprising. At first, both lamps put out around 10,000 lux. But after just a minute, they were both exceeding that 10,000 lux by quite a bit. Let's take a look at the Classic first. In this graph, you can see it starts out at around 9,000 lux, but quickly climbs to 13,000 before averaging out at about 12,500. That's 25% brighter than advertised, which is a pleasant surprise as lay therapy lamps tend to underperform on the claims. Looking at the sky, however, things get a little odd. Here's a graph from the first test we took. As you can see, this looks nothing like the Lux graph from the Classic. The sky does start off at around 10,000 Lux, again, but quickly climbs to almost 16,000 Lux, and then jumps around like a madman the whole time. It does average out to around 14,500 Lux, which is once again almost 50% brighter than advertised. So again, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. But this brightness variation thing is kind of weird. I thought that maybe it was a glitch with my spectrometer software, so I went ahead and did the test again, except this time with 30 second intervals instead of one minute intervals. And here is the graph from that test. Still, just as weird, but we get a bit more detail this time. We can see that the brightness variation sort of calms down after 20 minutes or so, but then just after the 40 minute mark, it starts to oscillate again. All I can assume is that the power circuitry on this lamp isn't performing as it's supposed to. I'm not sure if this is just my lamp or if this is a manufacturing flaw with the Daylight Sky, but it is there. Now we did use the Daylight Sky quite a few times and never noticed any brightness fluctuations. So if you're worried about that, I wouldn't be. It feels like one steady brightness the whole time it's on. Overall though, as far as Lux output and effectiveness is concerned, the Sky is the clear winner. It's putting out about 25% more light than the Classic, and since it has a slightly cooler color temperature, that makes it just a bit more effective than if they were the same. Speaking of brightness fluctuations, that brings me to our next topic, which is flicker. Nowadays, LEDs rarely flicker noticeably. However, all LEDs do have something we call invisible flicker as the AC current is converted into DC current in the electronics. Some people seem to get headaches and eye strain with LED lights that have invisible flicker that is of a lower frequency. And unfortunately, both the Classic and Sky have some pretty bad invisible flicker. 
They both have a flicker depth of around 18 to 20% and the frequency is at 120 hertz per second, which is pretty low for an LED flicker. It's fast enough to escape your visual perception, but it's actually slow enough that we can capture it on slow motion video. I don't really seem to be affected by this kind of flicker. I have lights that flicker and I never really notice any headache or eye strain from them. If this is something that bothers you, however, this information might be useful. If you're looking for a low flicker light therapy lamp, you can check out our database. We have data on all the lights we test in this regard, so just check that out. Now let's talk about the actual color quality of these lights. Both of them claim to be emitting a color temperature of 4,000 kelvins. I clocked the classic coming in at 4,050 kelvin and the sky at 4,200 kelvin. So they're actually pretty close to the claim, which is unusual for light therapy lamps so far. 4000 Kelvin is on the warmer side for the light therapy lamps. Some of the other Theralite lamps that I've tested are also around 4000 Kelvin. This is going to be technically less effective than a lot of the bluer lamps out there, but it is closer to the color temperature of morning sunlight. So some of you might find that more comfortable or natural, something to keep in mind. Now, of course, they both advertise full spectrum light output, but I don't consider these full spectrum. The classic is emitting a CRI of about 78.7, and the sky is at 78.3. These are pretty poor color rendering LEDs. Now that's not a huge selling point for a light therapy lamp, but you're not gonna look your best under this light, right? So there's that. It's really quite low on the CRI spectrum as far as LEDs go. I'd like to see it in the 90s. High 70s is about as bad as it really gets nowadays. So nothing to write home about here. One thing to take note of is the lux per square inch between these lamps is quite different. The Sky does emit a lot more lux than the Classic, but it's also smaller. So we have a lux per square inch on the Classic of around 110, whereas the Sky is around 180. So if you're someone who finds yourself susceptible to glare sensitivity, the Classic might be the better option just because it's a little bit more comfortable to be under. And I suppose the last thing I can touch on as far as testing goes is magnetic fields. I do have an EMF meter, so I decided I would check and there's no issue with these. If you get right next to them, there is a small one to two milligauss reading, but it's really nothing to worry about because you're never gonna be right next to these lamps. So closing opinions. After using and reviewing both of these lamps, my pick goes to the sky. It's brighter, more effective, and surprisingly, it's cheaper on Amazon and Carex's website. So to me, it sort of feels like a no-brainer. As far as the odd brightness oscillations in the Sky model goes, it doesn't really concern me that much. Again, using it, it felt just fine, and they do have a one-year warranty. It just doesn't seem like it's gonna really be a big issue. Um, if it does concern you, the Classic is a tried and true light therapy lamp. It's also good and definitely worth the money if you're looking for an effective light therapy lamp. If you guys want to compare these lamps to some of the other ones we've tested, there is a link to our database in the description below. There are also affiliate links to these lamps if you're looking to get one and you wanna help the channel out. You can totally click on one of those, I will not stop you. I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you guys found it helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. That's it. All right, see you next time.